What's up guys, Sila here with One Legion TV and I am back with another guide but this time something a little bit different. This is going to be 10 mounts that I feel are extremely easy to get be it time or RNG isn't really a factor or you know you just need a level 100 character. Either way they're all very very easy to acquire so if you're looking for some mounts this would be the guide to check out. So first up on the list we have the Armored Brown Bear. Very simple bear, you know, it isn't anything crazy, it looks okay if you're after a bear mount. And it was introduced in Wrath of the Lich King, and to pick up this mount you'll need to head to Dalaran. And in Dalaran, just over near the Horde section, kind of towards where the flight path and all that kind of stuff is, you'll see this little um, pet area. And just outside of there you'll see the, the bear and the mammoth, and there'll be a vendor in between them. And if you speak to that vendor she'll sell you a very you know, selection of mounts. One of them will be the Armored Brown Bear for 750 gold. Now there are a few other mounts here, but I thought the Armored Brown Bear was cheap enough that we could add it on this list. Next up for spot 2 and 3, and they're in no particular order, is the Black Drake and the Twilight Drake. I've kind of separated these because they, they come from different difficulties, but they come from the same raid. So I didn't really feel like they should be included in the same number. And a second ago you could see the Black Drake, and right now you see the Twilight Drake. So both very cool looking mounts, especially the Twilight, it's one of the, the better looking you know, basic drakes in the game in my opinion. And to get it we're going to head to Wormrest Temple in Dragonblight, which is a Wrath of the Lich King zone, so you'll need to head to Northrend. And underneath Wormrest Temple we'll find the Dungeon Obsidian Sanctum. Now these mounts are both on a 100% drop chance as long as you do the fight properly. And if you do it on 25 man, you will get the Twilight Drake. If you do it on 10 man, you'll get the Black Drake. You can only do one a week, so make sure you do pick the one that you're more interested in for the first week. So what the goal is, is to kill Safarion with the other three Twilight Drakes alive. You can clear out the trash if you want, if it's a little bit difficult for you. But as you've seen, I completely, like, rolled it. At level 100, this should not be a challenge at all. Now, make sure you do not kill the three Twilight Drakes around the room. Just kill the trash if you are actually going to clear the trash. And as long as the three Twilight Drakes are still alive when you pull Sotherium, then you'll have the mount get drop guaranteed. Next up is the Wall of Draenor stable mounts. Now, these are all classed as one number because, you know, it's basically one place that you get it from and you'll get them all roughly at the same time. And what you need to do to get these mounts, and there's quite a lot, you'll get six mounts total from doing the stables, and the, the easy side of the stables, and there's another two mounts that you can get if you want to check out the other guides for those on One Legion that take a little bit more effort. So, to get the stable mounts, literally all you need to do is put a stables in your garrison. It is a large building, so you will need to replace a large building and get the stables in and then you'll get dailies to do every single day and these will be to train up your mounts in training so it starts as like a towel book or a boar and then you move up from there and once you've done all the mounting training quests takes about two weeks you'll get all six of the mounts like each every time one's finished all its quests you'll get the the mount so near the end of like the two week period you should have every single mount unlocked and that's six six mounts guaranteed for like a two week period of doing dailies so it seems very very lucrative and it's very easy to do as long as you have a level 100 character access to a level one garrison you should have oh actually i think you need a level two garrison possibly it's either one or two for the the stables either way shouldn't take that much effort to get a level two and put in the stables get the mounts and then once you've got the mounts you don't need the stables anymore you can get rid of it the mounts won't go away so yeah, as simple as that. If you don't know how to swap to the stables, just go to your garrison's main building and look for the architect uh, table. And then in there, you'll be able to swap out one of the buildings for the stables and you'll begin doing the dailies. Make sure you do them every single day. And then as I said, once you finish the, the daily chain, you'll have all six mounts unlocked. And there is a bonus two mounts that you can get from achievements as well. So very, very simple. Next up is your race mounts. Now, that one might seem a bit obvious and like, oh, that's a bit crap. But the reason I've included this is because they're very, very easy to get and they can bulk up your mount number a lot. So say, for example, your main character is a Blood Elf. You could go to the Blood Elf starting area and buy the level 20 mounts and the level 40 mounts. And if you have any alts, say you've got a Tauren alt or an Orc alt or a you know, Goblin Alt, you can go to their mount vendors and buy the mounts as well. Or, alternatively, you could level a character to level 40, 
be it a, a, you know, undead if you've not got an undead ult. Get it to level 40 and then you'll be able to purchase all of the undead race mounts. Delete that character and you'll have all of those mounts on your main. So it's very, very easy to get a big, big chunk of mounts. Shouldn't take you that long to get to level 40. Or worst case, you could get those characters to level 20 and just buy the level 20 mounts. Quite a bit of option and a lot of mounts to, to gain, basically. And could get you to that 50 or 100 mount goal quite, quite quickly. Next up on the mount list, we have the um, Vashir Seahorse. This one is extremely easy to get, but the downside is you can only use it in Vashir. So to get this mount, if you have never been to Vashir before, go to your main city, be it Orgrimmar or Stormwind, and look for the Call to Arms board. And you'll find them all around the cities. Go to it and you'll have a quest that will take you to Vashir. Uh, follow that chain and eventually you'll end up in Vashir. And then once you get to Vashir, just do the, the first sort of quest chain. And keep doing that quest chain until you get the mount. It doesn't take very long, maybe like half an hour, maybe an hour tops. And you'll get another mount to your collection. The sad part is it can only be used in Vashir, which yeah, well, sucks a little bit. But it is a very easy mount to get to add to your collection. So I definitely would recommend it if you're just trying to bulk up the number and get to like a 100 mount goal or 150 mount goal or whatever, you know, you're just trying to get that number higher basically. Very, very easy and quick mount to get. The same applies to the um, battle tanks. These all come from AQ and there's four of them that you can get total. Three of them have a, a very, very high drop chance and the red one has quite a low drop chance. But you can basically farm these and get them very quickly, and that's another four mounts you could get to your collection. Now, once again, these mounts can only be used inside AQ, which sucks a little bit, but if you get the blue, the yellow, or the green, or the red battle tank, it can only be used in AQ. Now, there are some battle tanks that you can get that can be used anywhere, but we're not including those in this video. So you'll head to um, Silithus, and you'll head to AQ, and as we were on the map a moment ago, and you'll literally just kill the trash and loot them. And from the trash, you'll have a chance of getting one of the four mounts. As you've seen from the first pack, we got a blue one. So as you can tell, it's a fairly high drop chance of getting one of them. And once again, that'll add to your mount collection number. So it's just another mount. Now, there's two ways of doing this. You could either just farm this kind of trash packs before the first boss, which is the red guy uh, in front of us. You could kill all this trash, run out, reset the dungeon, and then run back in and keep doing it that way or you could just do a full clear of the dungeon as there are quite a lot of mobs in here and you know you'll probably pick up a few mounts uh, that way as well so it's up to you really how you want to do it you could either just farm one trash pack get all the mounts and then go uh, and call it a day or you could clear the whole place and you know hope in rng basically but either way you should be able to pick up most of these mounts in one run and if you farm the trash you should be able to get all of the mounts Shouldn't take you that long either, especially for the green, the blue, and the yellow. Finally, uh, next up we have the Hearthsteed. Now, this one's a bit of a weird one on the list. I wasn't sure if I was going to put it, but it basically just requires you to get three wins in Hearthstone, which is another Blizzard game. Just download it on your Battle.net, install it completely free, pick up the game, learn it a little bit. You, it wouldn't take much. And then once you get those three wins, you will get the Hearthsteed, which is quite a cool looking mount. Next up, one of the notorious easy drakes or easy mounts in the game is the bronze drake. Um, a lot of people in the beginning of Wrath of the Lich King struggled to get it, and then towards the end, pretty much everyone had it. So we're going to head to the Caverns of Time in Tanaris, and we're going to fly all the way down, and we're going to eventually get to the Calling of Stratholm. And you're going to put it onto Heroic Difficulty, go to Dungeon Difficulty and switch it to Heroic, and then we're going to run inside. Now, if this is your first time ever doing it, Gnomi will have a quest for you, which will make you discover some crates and do a little bit of RP. But if you've done it before, you can speak to her and get to skip it all. And eventually, if you've never done it before, you'll get to the point where we're at now. You'll speak to Arthas and you'll begin the dungeon. So the idea is basically to complete the dungeon in a time frame. If you don't complete it in the time frame, then you'll fail and you won't get the drake. Um, Step one or stage one of the dungeon is to kill these trash packs or spawn around the sort of first area. You can check your mini map or your main map for the flag and that'll indicate where the trash pack is. Run over, kill it, and then once you've killed five, you'll get the first boss. And then you kill the boss, wait a little bit, and then the next tra uh, trash pack will begin to spawn again. And then once we've gone through 10 total, you'll um, have the boss killed, the second boss, 
and then we'll be able to proceed with the dungeon. It shouldn't take you very long to do this bit. I mean, it's a level, what, 80 dungeon? So a level 100 character should have absolutely no issues with this whatsoever. You'll go around killing all the trash, and eventually the second boss will spawn. We'll kill him, we'll wait for Arthas to show up just outside here, and then we'll speak to Arthas and we'll carry on with the dungeon. So we'll wait for him to do his little RP, some adds will spawn, we'll kill them, and then we'll carry on following Arthas. He does take his time, which is unfortunate, but we do need him for this part of the, the dungeon. So just kill the trash off as quickly as possible, wait for him to keep talking and get on with the show, and eventually you'll get to the third boss. So after this trash pack will be the third boss, and then once the third boss is done, speak to Arthas again, and then Arthas' job is pretty much done. We don't, we don't need him anymore. You can leave him to do whatever he's doing. But there's a lot of RP, unfortunately. It does take up quite a bit of the time. So it'll probably take you about 20, 30 minutes to get this um, run done. And maybe not that long, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. And depending on how long it takes you to get to the dungeon as well. And remember, Caverns of Time is in Tanaris. Um, there's a portal to Tanaris, Caverns of Time in Dalaran, if you want a quick route. So we're not going to head to Malganus, which would be through that gate to the right that we just looked at. Instead, we're going to follow this path all the way around, and we're going to find this um, Timeless Corruptor, I think his name was. Kill him, and the Bronze Drake will be on his corpse 100% of the time, as long as you've still got time left on the timer. If you don't have time left, then he won't be there at all. So as long as you kill him, as long as he's still there, you'll get the mount. Easy peasy. Next up is the Armani Battle Bear. This comes from Zolaman, and you'll find Zolaman in Ghostlands, as you can see on the map there. We're going to flick it onto Heroic Difficulty, and we're going to head inside. Once again, this is a timed run, so we will need to get it done in the time frame allowed, and then we'll get the mount. Um, head inside, speak to Vol'jin, who will be kind of stood here. I'm not too sure if it's Vol'jin if you're Alliance. I don't think I've ever done this as Alliance since they've updated it, but I'm pretty sure it would be Vol'jin, as he's the kind of, like... He's, he's involved in all of this stuff, so pretty sure it'd be Vol'jin. Um, speak to whoever's there, I'd imagine it's Vol'jin, and get on with the dungeon. Once again, you'll notice a timer will pop up, and it gives us the time to kill the first four bosses. Now, when you kill the first and second boss, you will get a little bit more time on the timer as well. So we're just going to rush straight to the first boss, and I would recommend following the same route that I am taking in this video, as it's just the easiest way of doing it. Next up, we're going to head to the second boss, which is the bear boss. And you do need to kill the trash that he kind of sends at you, otherwise he won't continue moving forward. As you've seen, I made that mistake. So just kill through the waves of mobs that he sends at you, and eventually you'll follow him up to his, like, plateau. And once he's here, kill him, and that's the second boss done. As you notice, we've got, like, 20-odd minutes on the timer, so we have plenty of time to do this. Once again, it was a Cataclysm dungeon, so not too difficult in any way, shape, or form. We're heading through and we're going to eventually get to the third boss. Pulled quite a lot of trash here though, so I would recommend dealing with that, especially if you're a bit lower geared, they might hurt, but I, I doubt it. If you're level 100, it should be no problem whatsoever. Kill the third boss and then we just need to head to one more and we'll be done. So we're going to head straight across, going to go past these tigers and then we're going to take this path um, kind of around the, the lake. And once we get here, there's going to be some tigers that spawn, but if you're on a mount, you can pretty much completely ignore them, as they will despawn once you get to the boss room. I'm not really sure why, but that's the way it works, so I'll take it. We'll get here, we'll pull the boss, and the tigers are gone, and we'll kill the boss. Now once the fourth boss is dead, you'll speak to this troll that's in the cage here, and they'll run around the room, but we, we're interested in this vase right here, so just stay here. You could loot the gold that she kind of finds, but this, this part that we're looking at right now is the part. That's the one that we want, the good stuff, you know. Um, once she gets here, she'll break it open, and the mount will have like a 99.9% ch chance of dropping. There is a couple of other items that could drop in its place on that like 0.00, but it's very, very unlikely. So there you go, you would have got your Armai Battle Bear. If you didn't, come back tomorrow and give it another go, and if you don't get it again, you're extremely unlucky. So there you go, there are 10 mounts that I feel are very, very easy, and you'll get a little bit more than 10, it's just kind of 10 clusters of mounts that I think are very easy to get. So hopefully this video has helped you out, look out for more videos from One Legion coming soon, thanks for watching guys, see ya!